Yoga here. I asked you guys what you wanted to see today on Twitter, and most of you answered that you wanted a thrift haul. And so I present to you my modest thrift haul. Who am I kidding? There's a lot of stuff here, and this is just in the last couple of weeks. So enjoy! Two new goosebumps for my collection. These are the original release with the bumpy tops. Bleep. This is number 50, and it's Calling All Creeps. I love, love, love this little guy with the backwards hat on the cover. So amazing. Uh, and this one is Save Cheese and Die again. Uh, and number 44. So I think I still have like 20 more Goosebumps books to go and then I've got most of the set. This little guy here is an original Jezco made in Hong Kong Pokey the Pony from Gumby. This was one of my favourite toys as a child. I found him for $5 at the Camberwell Market. He has little pieces of wire in his feet so you can bend them. Uh, now I'm on the lookout for a little wire Gumby. Sometimes people question me when I purchase crazy things. Liam did that day, that I purchased Mr. Bean contact paper. I have a plan for this. I haven't opened it yet. It cost me $1.99. It is an original contact paper from 1998. I plan on covering a box with this as part of a toy display in the bedroom. Look at this amazing contact paper. Mr. Bean and Bear. This one I got today, actually. It's an original 90 from the 90s, and you can tell it's 90s because of the amazing cherub uh, sun and moon motif on the front. Most people would wear this as a 90, but I'm going to wear it out and about with a beautiful headband I have, which is also vintage 90s, which is velvet and has stars and moons on it. This cost me a whopping $2.99. By far one of the most random toys in my collection is this 1986 Remco Mr. Miyagi from the film The Karate Kid. I couldn't pass him up. He was in a little box down the bottom with a whole bunch of dirty toys. I think it probably cost me a dollar from memory. Wax on, wax off, Mr. Miyagi. He has a cool, super cool dude button on the back and he keeps his arm down like that and then when you want to wax on, wax off, oh my god, you can squeeze his legs or press the button. It's amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. He's the only Karate Kid figure I have. It's time to talk VHS. If I showed you all the videos that I purchased this month, you would think that I was crazy uh, than I already am. So I'm just going to show you two of my favourites. How about this for a suspense thriller starring Katie Holmes from Dawson's Creek? It's disturbing behaviour. I remember loving this movie as a teenager. I haven't seen it in many, many years. I can't wait to watch it. Actually, I might watch it tonight. I might watch it tonight. I also picked up an Australian classic. Uh, for those of you that know me very well, I enjoy movies with live action animals in them. This is an absolute bonza. It's Napoleon. Look at this little fellow. He also has a friend who's a penguin and a galah. I don't think I've ever seen this film. I look forward to it. There's also a scene with Napoleon with a tree frog on his head. Amazing. Hey, guess what? This is a whole bag of McDonald's toys. Whoa! Some of these I haven't even taken out of their plastic yet. Uh, a whole bundle of these cost me $2.99 and my wonderful friend CJ gave me some from her lot of toys that she bought. So this whole bundle was $2.99. First up is this amazing Grimace who was a Christmas tree who was also an ornament which I'm going to put on a piece of string and wear as a delightful necklace. Next from 1997 we have Grimace on the playground on the swim set. Swing, not swim set. Uh, if you can't tell, Grimace is my favourite of the McDonald's characters. I think maybe even more than Ronald McDonald. 1999, McDonald's Olympic Games Playground. And it's a little Grimace and he does weights. This one I'm actually going to take out of packet, so we'll do that now. Oh my god, I feel sick doing this. Ugh! This was an in packet Lilo and Stitch Happy Meal. Uh, and he has a Viewmaster. And it's actually usable. You can move it up and down. You can, oh my god, this is amazing. I wonder if this turns it on and off. This is my first time playing with this, so just bear with me. Holy crap, that is a working Viewmaster, Liam! Wow! There's Lilo. I won't be able to show you guys this, but it's absolutely amazing. Look, there he is. His eye is the Viewmaster. How have I never seen this toy in my entire life? Uh, it is from McDonald's in 2002. This one's actually from Hungry Jacks. It's a Great Cats of the Jungle Collector 4. This is a little, a little animal head of some type. I can't help you with that, Kaz. 
That was terrible. Last McDonald's toy I'm going to show you is still in packet and I feel weird about taking it out again, but I'm going to do it. It's from the same collection of that amazing Viewmaster 2002. Oh my god, I'm opening it. Oh, I hate doing this, Liam. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, here she is. It's Lilo. And it comes with a little base with a record and you put her on top, you move this around and she haulers. This is the coolest McDonald's toy in the history of McDonald's toy. I'm going to do it again. The last four things I wanted to share with you are some amazing toys that I picked up. Uh, this first one is a little Russ troll from the mid 90s. Russ are my favorite brand of troll doll. This is a little punk rock star. He has a rainbow mohawk with bright blue at the top. He has a star on his cheek and then stripes on the other side. He has a guitar, an open shirt and the coolest little gold shoes. It still has the Russ sticker on the bottom. I think this might be my favorite troll I've ever owned. Look at this little guy. It's BJ from Barney 1994. He has little vinyl shoes and his cute little hat. He was is always my favorite from Barney and you never ever ever see Barney things at the stores nowadays uh, he's in perfect condition he has these little polka dots on the back and he sits over near the VHS I'm tap dancing cuz I'm so happy look at me it's BJ BJ now this one was a little bit expensive it is a re-release Toys R Us ET plush he is in great condition. He has his little yellow finger for E.T. phone home. And the coolest part of this is his extendable and collapsible neck. I don't know for what purpose you would ever need a extending head E.T. But I absolutely love him. I've never been able to afford anything E.T. because they're always so expensive. So when the guy told me $18, I couldn't pass it up. I used to be really scared of E.T. growing up. My mum said she used to hide my E.T. plush in another room when I went to bed because I wouldn't sleep with it in my room. And the last thing is something that I'm so, 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 so happy to own. I've only seen this in my wildest dreams. There he was sitting in the bottom of a toy rack, a soft toy rack. As soon as I saw this little tuft of hair, I knew who it was. It is an original Babe plush. It does have the original Play School Babe tag from 1995. He has his tiny little piggy tail and his piggy face and his iconic tuft of hair. I have loved Babe my entire life. I only own four Babe items to VHS. One, well, it counts as five. Two VHS, one vinyl toy, one popcorn bucket, and now this incredible Babe plush. It is an iconic Academy Award nominated Australian film, and I love, love this little guy so much. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. So that's what I thrifted in the past month. Let me know what your favorite thing was in the comments down below, but I already know it's a little babe. You all love this guy the most, just like me. Look at his little nose. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. You can hit me up at www.nerd-burger.com, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NerdBurgerCast. And I'll catch you guys a little bit later. Wake up! <laughs>